Factory Connection's been around since 1987. The current owner, as everybody knows, is Ziggy. He's owned the company since 1992. We've moved into this building in Barrington. This one being the central hub of everything. This is where majority of the sales calls get answered, where all the R&D work happens. And then we have five different satellite facilities that are scattered across the country to take care of you on a local basis with a much more personal touch. We work together as a team. Information is driven to us from the sales department. Whatever the particular situation is, we're tasked with coming up with solutions to cure those ailments, yet keep the positive traits of the motorcycle that were already there. We do this with all kinds of different tools. Some of them you can purchase, some of them you can't. We've had to make many of our own tools. That's part of the gig in the R&D world. So here at FC, we have a row rig shock dyno. We're capable of measuring up to four meters a second and 4,000 pounds, so it's fairly significant. We can measure OEM settings, we develop our own internal settings using that. We, we try really hard here to be creative with the different tests that we create. So we get to write our own tests, we have to fabricate our own fittings. We can run entire front ends here, so a whole front end assembly and triple clamps with a front axle. We can run a single leg and we can strip it down and run just the cartridge. We can run portions of cartridges. We break things up and look at pressure balances. That's how the shim settings get chosen for the compression adjuster assembly in the main shaft. After you capture a dyno pull, we look at the data that comes from that and then we actually add to that in the sense that we post-process the information using our own internal spreadsheets and that provides us with even more information than what the raw data curve itself is. The people running the dyno and how you manipulate the data is actually pretty important. We use a bunch of other tools. We have things like spring raters that will take a lot of detail in measuring springs. There's a lot of additional detail that people don't see on a daily basis that isn't even really talked about in the industry. It's all about the feedback and then we have to try in a, in a laboratory setting to come up with the values that are meeting the requests from the customers. So once all the dyno testing's completed, um, ultimately you need to go out in the field. That's, that's what it's about at the end of the day is a field test. We'll load up the truck, bring various parts, options, shims, fluids, laptops, so that we have all of our internal information with us. And then we'll get out and start to ride a base setting. We record you know, everything about the chassis that's pertinent, clickers, gearing, fork tube heights, linkages, there's, there's a lot that gets recorded. The test rider goes out and rides, he comes back in, provides us feedback. We've also been watching, so we have our visual cues. There's a bit of a download that happens, and then we'll start to dig into making changes. There's a logical testing process that goes on, and it has to do with the feedback and the situation. It's never the same. The day always has curves to it, and you have to be able to react to that. And the final result, which is key, is the test rider going, I'm much more comfortable or I'm faster. We shave lap time down, we stop the bottoming problem. The end goal is, again, meeting the customer's request. So when we've hit that point, then we feel good about it. The rider will keep that setting. He'll ride it for a couple, two, three weeks, hopefully race it. That's all noted and we'd take that back to the shop. We might do more dyno runs and get ready for a second field test. After he's ridden his own tracks and really put some time on it, it tends to generate more feedback. And then that process continues on and on until we end up with a final setting that gets approved for retail use. And then if we need to, we'll, we'll touch up on the setting again. So I hope this look behind the scenes at FC has opened your eyes to some of the work we do in the background. At the end of the day, it's all about you, the customer, and, and coming up with those settings that are gonna make you feel good about your bike, build confidence, keep you safer you know, let you ride longer, whatever the situation is while you're turning to us and what that request is. We need to do that rider interview with you one-on-one, -on -one, so via internet, via phone call to a sales guy, that information is fed directly to the person developing the settings and R&D is in the background generating the settings. It's truly about your satisfaction, what you're looking for from the bikes. We strive to go quite deep in our programs and some of that background information isn't always available, so I hope that you enjoyed that and we look forward to hearing from you.